fit for purpose, as growing concerns of the Army, the Navy and the Air Force are all simply too weak. And this is at a time when we're getting involved once again in the Middle East conflict that seems to get bigger and more serious with every passing day. Well, to discuss this, I'm joined now by Lieutenant Colonel Stuart Crawford, who's a defence analyst and a former British Army officer. Welcome to the show, Lieutenant Stuart Crawford. This is a hugely concerning issue. An article today by the defence editor of the Daily Telegraph saying our army is being cut by 9,000 to 73,000 next year, the smallest level since the Napoleonic era. The RAF has taken a 50% cut under the Conservatives, the smallest at any time since the First World War, yet we find ourselves seemingly hurtling towards more conflict. How on earth did this happen? Uh, good afternoon, Martin. Uh, the short answer to your question is how did this happen is that we have had a series of elected representatives and prime ministers who are not really interested in defence because there no, aren't usually in peacetime any votes in it. And that has been exacerbated by a series uh, over the same, same time period of weak and timid military uh, senior leaders who have, for whatever reason, uh, either been unwilling or unable to represent the services properly in the political arena. And so we end up with armed forces, which in my opinion, uh, are not really uh, a fit for rule, certainly not in any uh, scale whatsoever. And you're absolutely right to point, I mean, the, the, you know, the army, for example, my former employer, hasn't fulfilled its recruiting figures since 2010, mm -hmm. uh, which is an appalling indictment on the way things are being run. And it's, as you know, it's been contracted out to Capita, who are useless at it. I mean, just useless. Uh, and there's no two bones about it. I can't, I haven't found anybody who has a good thing to say about them in that capacity. So th that's the sorry story of it, where we, we've just taken our eye off the ball. And Stuart, there's another astonishing story. Yesterday, we have a recruitment crisis uh, because it's too slow. It takes 150 days to go through the medical process, in which time a lot of the young lads and ladies simply clear off and do something else. And also, the medicals are too tough, the fitness is too tough, and they're even turning people away with tattoos. Yes, I mean, I've read uh, all that stuff. Some of, some of that is, uh, is uh, populist. Uh, opinion, of course, uh, but there's no doubt that the recruitment process takes far too long. Um, I think it's perfectly acceptable to have a three or possibly four month uh, uh, hiatus between applying and attending selection. But uh, anecdotally, I've heard from people who've 18 months the process has taken. And of course, you're quite right, young people are not going to wait that long to get into regular employment. I wouldn't wait that long to get into regular employment. And all of it is down to Capita. Capita are in charge of the whole process up to selection. And that includes uh, documentation, uh, medical examinations, et cetera, et cetera. And they're just not up to the job. OK, thanks for joining us. Sobering vision there, Lieutenant Colonel Stuart Crawford. Just makes you wonder if we were suddenly dragged into a war, could we even fight or raise an armed forces? It's just astonishing, really, when you think about it.